Following the drying up of the Euphrates River, it has become the main focus of the world's media. In trying to demystify such a phenomenon, scientific experts in the field of science give us an analysis based on the study of the natural world. Where spiritualists develop an analysis based on the Bible and particularly the Book of Revelation. Following the drying up of the Euphrates River in the valley, some things started to appear and this has caused quite a reaction. Many things are beginning to appear and many are puzzled as to what is happening. However, in my view the many views that are presented on YouTube are founded on partial facts and in fact, I feel that we have forgotten the main idea. One thing we should understand, the Bible is founded on the gematria, which is a combination of numbers and words of the Jews. The holy book is as such written in codes. Revelation 16 verse 12, the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. After the drying up of the Euphrates River, many things have appeared and these include ancient monuments, including the Seven Caves. These Seven Caves represents an ancient spiritual knowledge of the seven spiritual qualities of human beings. The Sixth Angel, described in John's vision, represents the, the Sixth Dimension or Chakra. This sixth dimension is found in the central location of our mind, it's called the pineal gland or commonly, it is known as the third eye. The sixth angel or the pineal gland is part of the mind that is responsible for connecting human beings with the hidden and higher, seventh dimension. Revelation 9 verse 14, it said to the sixth angel, who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. In this message of the Bible, Euphrates River represents a liquid chemical, called cerebrospinal fluid, which is responsible for connecting the pineal gland with the spinal cord. Revelation 9 verse 14, it said to the sixth angel, who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. For human beings, in order to experience full spiritual awakening, the four dimensions or chakras that are found between the root chakra and the pineal gland must be activated. This is what the Bible tries to tell us. The four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates, represents, this four chakras that are found between the pineal gland and the first chakra or root chakra.